Where do we come from? What do you believe in the biggest picture possible? In the beginning, do you believe in a from the life creation? Of the past. Yeah, in the beginning. Or do you believe evolution? What, what's your what's your belief about I think the past? The life in the past. A life in the past. Are you a spiritual guy? No, I'm like Muslim. Oh, you're Muslim. Okay, so what what does a what does a Muslim believe though about the beginning of the earth? Where did that start? I'm not they... that into it. That's why. So, but I'm like a little bit into it. A little bit into Islam. Islam. Are you new to Islam? I am very new. Oh, what what was the? My dad is Muslim. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, but do you believe in creation or evolution then, as as a Muslim or a new Muslim? Yes. As in, what do you mean by creation? Do you believe that God created, or do yes. you believe that we just evolved? No, God created. Do you believe in evolution at all? Evolution as in we just like, like became monkey? a thing? Monkeys? Mm, no. Maybe, yes. But God. Okay, so God. Okay, we got there. God. God created evolution. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay, got, Bob back. Got it. Okay, that's question one. Okay. Here's question two. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here, Bob back? What, what is the point of all this that's going on here today? Why are we here? Question. I don't know. I don't Is it just about a football game? No. Is that where you're going to a football game? I am going on a football game. Okay, so why do you think we're here, man? What, what's, what's the meaning of life? What are we living or what are you living for? Life, just to live life. I don't know. You ever think about that? No. I have, but I never thought of like, the reason. Okay. Do you think it's important to have a meaning in life? Yes. You have a purpose in life. Always have a purpose in life. Have a goals. Have goals. Okay. Question three. Okay. Um, you ever had a friend or family member die young? Young... No. No? You've never lost anyone young? young? Not young. Okay. So what do you think happens after we die? So you said you're, you're you Muslim. Go, you go to either heaven or you go to hell and then you start your new life. That's you go to heaven or hell? That's what I think. That's fair. I believe the same thing. So how do you get to heaven? Who gets heaven, who gets hell, and why? That one I don't know. That one is... I do not know that one. Do good people go to heaven? I expect. I would expect so. Are you good enough, Babak, to go to heaven? No. You're not good enough? No, I you, th you think you are? I think so. I think I'm good. Okay, so do you believe God is good? God is great. Okay, so here's, here's the dilemma that I never knew. Mm -hmm. If God is good, I would say perfect. Okay. How does God, especially as a newer Muslim, I would ask a Muslim friend this, yeah. how does God both satisfy his justice? How does he stay just? Okay. But how does he also forgive you? Without compromising his justice, how does a judge do let a guilty that. criminal walk out of the courtroom without being a crummy judge? Mm. How does he do both? Uphold justice, but how does he do that? How, how does a judge? Um, by he has to think. He has to think about it. I don't know. Can I tell you? There's actually something he did, so you and I could be fully and freely forgiven. Here it is. How does God, this is my question, how does God both satisfy justice and demonstrate love? You picture this, you're standing before the just judge of all. You've died, you're standing before him in judgment. He's seen everything you've done, he's heard every word you've spoken, he can even read your thoughts, he knows your heart, okay. you're busted, you're guilty. He's just about to sentence you because he should. When he steps down from the bench as a just judge of all and he lays down his life so you can walk free, only the judge himself has the power and authority yes. to forgive you righteously. The Bible says that's what Jesus Christ did. Now, your Muslim friends will say he's a prophet, he's just yeah, a prophet. Yeah, yeah. That's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches he's not only the son of God, but he's God the son. And he had to be God because only God can be perfect. Okay. And he had to be made in the image of man because, because we, are, we are in God's image unlike animals. So yeah. Jesus becomes, or Jesus as the God man, he enters his own creation. Like a hand fills a glove, God walks the earth in the person of Jesus Christ. At Easter, he goes to a Roman crucifixion. The most miserable form of capital punishment ever to happen was that. He dies the death required as payment for sin. He's the judge who actually lays down his life for mine. He dies my death. He pays my fine with his life's blood. He ra he's raised from the dead. Like 500 people see him at one time, right? And now he calls people everywhere to repent of their sin, turn from their sin, put their faith in him alone to save them. And here's the thing. It's not about religion. Because if I ask a devout Muslim, what do I have to do to go to heaven? They'll say, you've got to keep the pillars, man. You've got to do this. 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 If you ask a Christian, what do I have to do to go to heaven? A Christian, if they understand the, the gospel message, will say, you can't do anything. Yeah. It's been done 
for you. You just believe what Jesus did as full payment and you're fully and freely forgiven, man. And then when we go to we, we die, we go to heaven based on his goodness and not my own. Does that make sense? Man, I, I encourage you to think about that, man. Seriously, I, I, I don't think it's an accident we chatted today because I want you to I encourage you to think about Everything that. Happens for a Everything happens for a reason. But thanks for chatting, Vivek. Okay, you guys have a good day. Okay. At The Cross Current, we believe that a church on mission unifies in the gospel and the gifts for the glory of God. And it's been our experience that gospel outreach or Go Teams missions are the easiest way for entire churches to equip their saints by example to normalize sharing the gospel and gifts together. That's why we invite you to take your Go Teams missions to the extreme. Extreme Go Teams missions with the Cross Current are local missions day trips into major urban centers for the specific purpose of preaching the gospel together through high volume tract, one to one witnessing, and even open air preaching. Extreme Go Teams missions allow Christians and their churches to fully leverage the local missions expertise of the cross current and get equipped by example by walking with some of the most experienced equipping evangelists in Canada. But these missions don't stop there. The Extreme Go Teams mission was, was instrumental for me. It took me from kind of having a burden to actually seeing it demonstrated powerfully how it, how it could and, and should be done in my opinion. That, that experience was nine years ago for me and I, I've never lost the zeal. I'm still sharing the gospel in the UK and that Extreme Go Teams mission was, was the springboard. Not only will Extreme Go Teams missions fan the flames of gospel passion in the hearts of individual Christians, but they'll also serve as a launch pad for entire churches to normalize sharing the gospel in all their personal and community relationships together. I kind of expected like worst case scenario. You get a lot of people that, that are intrigued. They want to know what you're talking about. We did have a lot of people that were like not receptive to hearing the word, but we also had some very good conversations. And I noticed that not only were we like preaching to other people, but when you say these things, you're also preaching to yourself. This isn't my comfort zone and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, but I know I got to let God do it. It just shows what God can do. Uh, when you come to him empty, broken, uh, fearful, and I shouldn't be, but I was. And so God filled it all. It was far beyond what I could even imagine. Would you continue doing this? Do you feel that this is something that, that this has been helpful to equip you to continue with your church evangelizing? For sure. It, it just gives you that self-confidence, God confidence. And once you see and do it out of the love of God, to see that there's souls that are lost and souls that are hurting and that, you know, it, it's pouring out the love of God. He said to us, go into all the world and share this good news. Uh, that means we ought to be able to know how to share it. So if you and your entire church need to get equipped by example to normalize sharing the gospel and gifts together, enlist in extreme Go Teams missions with the Cross Current today.